Well, it's been a while since I did an episode of the Nightly Crypto Report, so gosh, kind of rusty at it. So here we go. I got a ton to tell you, so we'll get through it kind of quick, though. And um, yeah, I might make an, an announcement at the end. So, <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Here we go. Let's look at the crypto heat map. A lot of green on the screen, and it's even reflected in my hair now. <laughs> okay, so everything, almost everything is in green except for Dogecoin and a few other ones. All right, and let's hop into uh, Terra, Terra Classic. So for some reason, okay, Terra investors not giving up on Luna Classic, but Luna Classic opportunists keep hampering their efforts. Really, you wouldn't you wouldn't know it by the way uh, Terra Luna has been behaving this past week. So despite the massive collapse of Terra ecosystem tokens, UST and Luna, many investors are not are still not prepared to give up as they launch significant moves to help the assets rally again. The moves made by these diehard investors have been helpful in the past few days with both crypto assets boasting uh, significant gains so far. So yeah, we have some uh, burns going on and a lot of other things going on, but, um, and yeah, there are some diehards for sure, for sure. So let's just, you know, just jump over to Luna's chart. So I, I went, I did a couple little, little drawings because I think what's building up here on, on uh, Luna Classics day chart is what you call a pennant. And that's going to be good for us this week if it happens and it goes in our favor. So a pennant is not a bull flag. A pennant kind of goes um, like this, kind of, kind of a bit of a, a triangle jetting out. And what we want to do, we want to break to the upside. So it's it's going to start to squeeze here, and it could break to the upside, and we can get out of that. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, it's been a pretty good week for uh, Luna Classic, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, since way down here and going up. So not too bad. I do hold some of that. And I did a few videos about it to show you. Well, I got in higher and yeah, <laughs> and, it, and it nosedived. So, okay. Anyway, Crypto Trader reveals targets for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Solana. I just want to see if I can jump and hit, hit the Bitcoin target. Okay. So the, uh, the analyst adjusted Bitcoin lower from 21,000 to 16,000, 16,200. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know if we'll see that. And Ethereum from 1200 to 750. How old is this? Ethereum hit what? 750 not that long ago. What was it? June 27th? Uh, no. So anyway, yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah. Bitcoin. You know what? I'm not afraid of Bitcoin falling. I'll tell you why. Because there's a lot of people on the sidelines just waiting to buy that dip. If it if Bitcoin falls to ten thousand, fifteen thousand, five thousand, even, uh, you can believe that there's going to be some whale activity like crazy, like crazy into Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then that'll be it. That'll be the bottom, and we will finally turn this market around. Not financial advice. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict the future, but I do know that some people are just dying to buy Bitcoin cheap, and they're spreading fud about it. It's like. Oh, it's the end of crypto. It's, oh, you know what? Um, no, it's not. <laughs> You're just trying to get, shake out the lettuce hands so that they sell off their Bitcoins and you can buy it lower. I know your game. <laughs> so Mexican Senator proposes bill to make Bitcoin legal tender. Well, no, well, that's really good. Okay. So, 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 okay. So it, it is, it is reformed by addition to article two. Okay. Anyway, considered, uh, Article 2, Bitcoin will be considered as a legal tender in the Mexican Republic, says document introduced to Parliament June 28th. You see, Bitcoin is everywhere, and I'm not surprised Mexico wants to get a piece of, get into that action. And, oh yeah, this is a big one. So SEC rejects grayscale spot Bitcoin ETF. Another, you know, another time, another spot Bitcoin ETF getting rejected by the SEC. And this time they're biting back. So Grayscale is literally going to um, try to sue the SEC. We filed a lawsuit against the SEC. Good. Somebody had to. And, you know, other countries have, have spot Bitcoin ETS. I mean, Canada has it. I think Australia, uh, I think somewhere in Europe, too. It, it, this is nothing, nothing new. Like, and, you know, you, there's like Bitcoin futures in the United States. There's a whole bunch of things. But no, no spot Bitcoin ETF. So here's what they're saying is the reason why 
Oh, I found it. Oh, geez, I should have highlighted it. Um, just give me a second here. Okay, so. Grayscale, okay. There we go. The commission identified and listed possible sources of fraud and manipul manipulation in the spot Bitcoin market. Among them were wash trading, uh, whale manipulation. <laughs> you think there's no whale manip manipulation in the stock market? Oh my gosh. Exchange and network hacking. Oh my gosh. Uh, misleading information and manipulative, manipulative activity involving proposed stable coins, stable coins, including Tether. All right. So that's the SEC's argument for why there is no spot beat Bitcoin ETF yet in the United States of America. This is getting ridiculous. So anyway, I'm glad that Grayscale is saying we're going to sue you and we'll see what happens. We'll, we will see what happens. Jump through this real quick. Ripple. Ripple secures deal for XRP ledger to be used in land registry systems by the Colombian government. Kind of says it all. Good. And what do we have here? Ethereum whales. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're nibbling. Our, okay, no, they're accumulating Ethereum amid crypto dip, according to an analyst firm. Okay. What do we have here? I Okay. So Ethereum shark and whale addresses holding between 100 and 100,000 Ethereums have collectively added 1.1% of the coin supply to their bags on this minus 39% Ethereum dip. So that's what I'm saying. Even if Bitcoin goes lower, believe me, there's gonna be people to take it off your hands. And that's why that the term diamond hands is so important. Not financial advice, but why give it to them? Why give it to them? They're just, they're waiting for, okay, I'm just gonna jump over here to a chart real, real quick if I can try to find um, Bitcoin. Where are you, Bitcoin? here day chart let's go weekly chart real quick and i'm telling you see this line i drew here that's what a lot of people are waiting for they're waiting to buy this dip if it happens to around 10 grand uh levels before the pandemic kicked in over here in march 2022 and believe me, I, I know, I know the big institutions are waiting for this point. And when it happens, if it happens, they're going to buy in. And guess what's going to happen? It'll turn the market around. I, to see it coming. I'm not afraid of Bitcoin pulling in because we need a bottom. We need a bounce. No, I don't want to see it going that low, but it's not the end of the world. That's what I'm telling you. And this is where the institutions are going to buy in. Uh, people who know how to trade, people who 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 buy stuff on sale. I did a video called, uh, what was it, the Warren Buffett effect. It's, it's when to buy stock. Basically, you buy it when it's on sale. When you buy Bitcoin, you buy it when it's on sale. And that's what these guys are thinking. They, they have lines like this in their charts, and they're like, no, I'll just wait, wait, wait. When uh, the guy from uh, CNBC, I forget his name now, Kramer, Jim Kramer bought in over here. He bought in at, I think he said $12,000. That was a reason for it. And then he sold on the way up. And believe me, those guys didn't buy here and hold and hold all their bitcoins all the way and watch it fall down. No, they're gonna buy low again and do the same thing, rinse and repeat. So let's just see how that pans out. Like I said, I'm not afraid. I have a little grocery list going on in my mind. <laughs> crypto housewife grocery list of cryptos to buy if we dump hard. And I'm just I'm waiting. And well, I'll tell you what's on my list. Uh, Digibyte, more Digibyte. Uh, if Cardano really, really decides to dump hard, I kind of doubt it will. Um, I don't know what else. Some metaverse plays like UFO gaming, a little speculative stuff like that. Uh, what else? I can't think of anything else right off the cuff. But yeah, so if we pull it back even more, buying opportunity. Yeah, that's where the wealth will be made. So not financial advice. Don't, you know, copy what I do. Doesn't mean I do things right. But I know a bottom is a bottom. So we'll see what happens. So where did I leave off over here? Crypto. Okay, North Korea. North Korea leads the world in crypto crime, says this report. Uh, well, <laughs> we've heard a lot about that lately. So and uh, let's see, there's a few other countries too that that's uh leading leading the sector in crime 
and oh, we're just hearing a lot of things lately. A lot of a lot of things collapsing, and it's really too bad because yeah, oh, the world the world has changed. So anyway, I I had this I had this pegged. I, where's my I had it highlighted what I wanted to read to you. And anyway, there was a few other countries too that are pretty bad. We know that there is crime in the United States. There is crime in Europe. There is a crime in, oh, where did they say? China, I think. I thought Canada was going to make the list because of a couple, couple things that happened here, but it didn't make the top four. And of course, I cannot find it. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right. Litecoin. Let's just skip over to Litecoin. So Litecoin to break below $50 as bears pave way for more damage. Well, like I just said, same with Bitcoin. Litecoin pulls in. That's a buying opportunity. Simple as that. If it does go in, and that's what I think is going on right now. We're getting close to a bottom, and a lot of FUD is coming out because people are getting impatient. The big guys are the big, uh, the big whales uh, who who are not known as whales. They're gonna hop in and become whales because they're gonna buy this pullback, this this major dip, and they're getting impatient and they're like, okay, how can we you know speed things up a bit? I want this this crypto market to crash so I can get into the bottom, and that's what's happening. There's a lot of fun. Nobody's going around saying, oh, yeah, the crypto is going to be worth, you know, nothing is crashing out of the goodness in their hearts to warn you. Why, if that was the case, why didn't they warn you up here? You don't know. They're coming out now and really spreading FUD because we're getting close to the bottom and they want to push it as fast as they can to take Bitcoins off of people's hands. And believe me, not a lot of Bitcoins are going to change hands at the bottom. You think that they will, but they won't. People are getting smart this round. They're holding their Bitcoins. They don't want to give them away. That's why this isn't dumping as fast as they wanted it to. <laughs> and, and well, it'll be the same thing for Litecoin. Litecoin, you know, it might go down lower. And it's, there's some, some really big Litecoin fans out there. I did a video the other day on Litecoin and, and it was popular. People want to hear about Litecoin. And I can't blame them. I'm, I really like the Bitcoin forks. So I like Digibyte and I like Digibyte because it's cheap. It's like trades at... I think at around a penny right now, it's like a penny. That could that thing I think could go 5x quite easily in the right circumstances relatively soon. Not financial advice. Again, I don't have a, a crystal ball, but I not that long ago, I bought some at 5x at 5 cents. So that's how I know it could happen again. <laughs> it, it was there not that long ago. So, all right. Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. Where do we have here? So SHIB and Doge accepted as payment by food delivery company Uber Eats. Yes. And it's not just you just trade it. You have to have a bit, it'll be, you can pay via BitPay. And yeah, so BitPay also supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, XRP, DAI, Wrap Bitcoin, and stable coins. So yeah, if you want to pay with your crypto, I don't know who really wants to give away their crypto though at the bottom, but yeah all right and cardano's basil fork set to launch tomorrow night sunday today being july 2nd 2022 so let's see what do we have here anything anything yeah so the basil fork that that's really good it's going to open up the door for more dApps and you know cardano is cardano cardano has a very good future in my opinion i think they have a thousand a thousand projects now on their ecosystem and as soon as that thing the vassal fork is solid uh they can have i think 500 more projects waiting waiting in the wings so that, that's fantastic for cardano oh my gosh I'm really happy for them so let's let's just wrap it up tonight with uh, fbi's most wanted the fbi's most wanted so fbi adds crypto queen to 10 most wanted fugitives list after alleged now this alleged four billion dollar one coin fraud so that happened in 2014 if you guys remember crypto queen she uh <laughs> <so> she <laughs> allegedly scammed uh, kind of like a ponzi scheme scammed um four billion uh four billion dollars from uh, unsuspected victims who wanted a better bitcoin i guess that's what it was promoted as and in 2014 not a lot of people knew much about crypto so i can see how that would have been easy uh, they were just ripe for the pickings it, it would have been easy to take their money just a bunch of lies a lot of seminars you know saying a lot of big things about it and then 
bang, the money's gone. So, so on uh, on Thursday, the FBI added Dr. Ruja Ignota, Ignatova, the self-proclaimed crypto queen, to the list of 10 most wanted fugitives and is offering $100,000 a reward for information leading to her arrest. So $100,000, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Something interesting here about this, I was saying, um, I think since, oh gosh, there's not many women on, have ever been on the top 10 list of Ameri of FBI, FBI's most wanted. And she made the cut, I think in 72 years, there might've been a dozen women, a do only a dozen women <laughs> who made that list. So uh, our crypto queen has made the list. So there. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say. So if you guys can subscribe to my channel, hit that like, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good night.